Well, hey everyone, it's Mr. Pearson back with another story problem, another word problem for us to work through and solve together. And this one reads like this. Amber kept track of the butterflies she saw each day. In May, Amber counted 484 butterflies. In June, she counted 516 butterflies. How many butterflies did Amber count in all? Okay, let's read that one more time together. It says, Amber kept track of the butterflies she saw each day. In May, Amber counted 484 butterflies. In June, she counted 516 butterflies. How many butterflies did Amber count in all? All right, go ahead and grab a piece of paper and a pencil. Pause this video. Solve the problem that, you, uh, that we just read through together. And then come back in just a moment once you have an answer. See how uh, we work through this problem and see if your answer is the same as mine. Go ahead and solve Okay, uh, now that you've had a chance to solve it, let's go ahead and walk through how to solve this problem. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to circle the numbers that we have. So the first number I see here as I read through it is right here, it says 484. So we have 484 butterflies. And then down in the next line, it says that she has, she counted 516 butterflies. So we're going to circle both of those. And then the follow-up thing that we want to do is we want to underline our question. So the question that we're trying to solve here is how many butterflies did Amber count in all? So let's underline that right there. So how many butterflies did Amber count in all is our question. Then, after we have identified the numbers we're working with, and we've underlined the question so we know what we need this to solve, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to draw a box around any important words that we see. So as I'm reading through this, I see this phrase right here, count in all. Okay, Because we know that Amber is counting the butterflies, and we need to know how many total butterflies she was dealing with, okay? So that means, as I'm thinking through this, uh, I'm going to end up adding those two numbers together. So this is going to be an addition problem. We're looking for the sum. So we're going to take these numbers, 484, plus 500, Sixteen. Got my equal sign there, and then let's add them up. Starting in the ones place, four plus six would give us ten. So I'm going to write a zero and regroup to the next column to the tens place. One plus one is nine. I'm sorry. One plus eight is nine, and then nine plus one would give us ten. So I put down another zero and regroup this time to the hundreds place. 1 plus 4 is 5, and 5 plus 5 would be 10. There are no other place values for us to regroup to, so we're just going to write our 10 right in down here. And because this is now a four-digit number, I'm going to count over 3. 1, 2, 3, and put a comma to tell me that this number is in the thousands place. So 484 plus 516 is 1,000. And then the last thing that we always want to do is we want to take our answer, whether it's a sum, a difference, a product, or a quotient, and we need to label it so we know that our answer is referring to what was asked for in the word problem. So we're going to write 1,000, and then we're going to write the word butterflies because that is what Amber was counting. There we go. All right. So Amber kept track of the butterfly she saw each day. In May, Amber counted 484 butterflies. In June, she counted 516 butterflies. 
How many butterflies did Amber count in all? Well, when we uh, combine those two numbers together, when we add them up, we end up with a sum of 1,000 butterflies. Hopefully you were able to follow along and got that uh, question correct. And again, this is Mr. Pearson, and I will see you next time with another word problem to solve. Thank you.